You can Julie, stay in there. The... You're locked in here. You can't get out. The other side. And Archie. <laughs> I've got another set of stairs to go. See you in a minute. Everyone. Morning, folks. Well, today we're at Wentworth Castle, yes, which is in Barnsley. Near Barnsley, so. yeah. So that's it's near Yorkshire, isn't it? Or in Yorkshire, yes. So, yeah. um, we've just been inside this uh coffee shop here, there you are. which is very nice. Yeah, it's very nice. We've had a coffee, and I've had a scone, and Tony's had a sausage roll <laughs> yeah. to set us up for walking around. Now, today it's beautiful and sunny, but quite it's... cold so hence i've got a hat on <laughs> yes is um a good wind chill factor yeah it's very cold <laughs> yeah. and today we've also brought archie haven't we archie yeah because he's allowed in the cafe yes he's allowed and in, in the this garden, cafe because so, uh... a few national trust places we've gone you can't take them inside mm, but this one you can yeah and we didn't fancy sitting outside today because it's so cold <laughs> anyway it's the gardens we're going to look round. Mm. The house behind us, if you can just see it, we're turning it that way. And if I turn you round, <coughs> the sun's there, that's the trouble. That is a college. It's called Wentworth College. college. Yes. Now you can actually go inside it to look at some of the rooms, but only on a- Appointments. Yeah, it's mm. like a, a special tour day. So there's the gardens to look at, and also there is um, a castle at the top, isn't there? <coughs> so we'll be doing all that. So let's go. Right in the distance there, there's some deer. <laughs> and as I say, this is Wentworth College. It's like the cafe used to be a barn of some description. Yes, like a barn. The, there's a second-hand bookshop there and she was telling us that um, they're, refurbishing. they're refurbishing it and they may be putting a reading room upstairs. Oh, there's a church here, look. So, again, it's a bit like a mini Chatsworth house. Yes, it, it does look like Chatsworth house. <laughs> that sort of architecture. Yeah. Basically, what we have to do is go, sort of go round the college. All the flowers are sort of dying off now. I think we'll just take a walk over this way. Little. Uh, benches along yeah. here yeah. to sit it's and view the barns. I bet it is. Now we've come up the hill a bit and we're sort of at the side of, of the college. And this is the Corinthian Temple. Look, look at the scenery, it's lovely. You can even see the M1 from here, can't you? But be careful here, I'm going to fall down the hill. Quite a steep hill as well. Build a little temple, just for the sake of it. Yeah. Why not? Mm. Right, let's go back this way. See what it says on here. It tells you which way to go. That's the way out. That's the cafe and shop, toilets, etc. That's what we're going to, isn't it? And the gardens. <coughs> yep. So we continue up here. It's lovely amongst the trees. Go this way and then have a quick look round and then continue. Little garden. 
tiny gardens. Oh no, it's called the Union Jack Garden because it's in the shape of the Union Jack. Oh yes. I was thinking about the colours, but it's not. The only way you can appreciate it is from the end. Yes. You ought to have brought your drone, although it's too windy today. <laughs> Goes off at each side, look. Approaching now the Victorian flower gardens. Thomas Wentworth was a prominent figure as a soldier and diplomat in the service of King William III and Queen Anne. An opportunity arose in 1708 to purchase what was then known as Stainborough Hall, and Thomas seized his chance to create an estate suitable for a man of his importance. As the Queen's ambassador to the Russian court in Berlin, Thomas Wentworth was familiar with the Baroque style favoured by European nobility. Between 1709 and 1715, a new Baroque wing was added to the old Stainborough Hall. Thomas was succeeded by his son William in 1739. By this time, the ornate Baroque style was also out of fashion, and William's legacy is the elegant south-facing Palladium wing of the house. And you can see the castle wall, look. It's there. And then in front of us, we've got the castle. Now there's like a needle here. Mm -hmm. Obelus. An obelus. I think that's what we call them. <laughs> we'll have a look what it is when we get a bit closer. See if Tony's right. I love those little turreted walls. Mm -hmm. We'll have another look over the edge. Oh, it's lovely on walking on here. It's very, very dry and crunchy, and this is what I like to walk on. Crunchy, dry leaves. Look through the trees. I don't think you'd be able to see through them normally, would you? Oh, yes, a little lake. Georgie. You're enjoying your walk, aren't you? Don't think they've had so much rain as we've had, do you? Lady Mary Wortley Montague was a poet and letter writer, well known for her travel writing. After seeing inoculation against smallpox practiced in Constantinople, now Istanbul, she made a British medical history by helping to make it fashionable in British high society during the 1720s. William Wentworth and his three sisters were all treated to protect them from the terrible disease. So they're working on the walls to hopefully last another 300 years. All right. Here's the castle. Let me move over this way, get a better view. In 1729, Thomas began to build a mock castle on the highest point of the estate. He called this Stainborough Castle. And on its completion in 1731, he renamed the house and the estate as Wentworth Castle. I like this tower, it's round. Go and have a look inside. Through the arch. Yeah. Through the arch. Ooh, it's a bit dark in here. Can you put your... Oh, we can go upstairs. I think. Oh no, it's just a little passageway though. Right, let's see whether we can get up these steps, up the tower. 
you think you ought to take your sunglasses off? No. Round we go. Gate stopping you going onto that. Nice, are you out of this arched window? That's a view down to the uh, bottom garden. Wow. Keep going round and round, I'm getting busy. Let's back down the stairs. Look at that for a view. Wow. Beautiful. I can see the remnants of another tower there. And the wall going round. And there's Julian Archie down at the bottom. Oh, there you are! And there's another turret. I bet it was pretty magnificent in its day. It's still pretty spectacular. It's all right, isn't it? portion of the wall. It's going round. Okay, let's go back down. Bye bye dragon. in here you can't get out. Got the other side and Archie. <laughs> We've got another set of stairs to go. The Isn't next one. Just be up to the top there. Right, let's join Julie. There's another tower here. It's a little square one. I'm not sure if we can go up any. This is sort of my height. <laughs> That's if there's any stairs. Oh no. Oh, there's like a little tiny fire here, look. Fireplace. Windows to look out. 
I'm sorry if this is a bit wobbly, but I'm filming it on my iPhone because Tony's got the camera. Oh, here he is. He's back with the camera. <laughs> here he is. I just said, I think I'd be able to... Sorry, that was Archie pulling my arm. Um, I'd be able to go up this tower because it's not too high. Yeah. But there isn't any steps. up there we've come down all these little steps and this is now called the fernery lots of ferns oh there's some palms there look you wouldn't think they'd withstand our weather would you but I must admit we've got a couple of palm trees in our garden and we seem to be able to withstand the cold gosh that's a big fern wow that's a posh seat, isn't it? Sit here, Arch, and look at the ferns. Too cold to sit down. Mm -hmm. Up and round. Just see what this sign says. The birds flitting about. What's this say? Please don't climb on the timber stacks. This sweet chestnut was removed for safety reasons. It will now become a deadwood habitat for the invertebrates. Mm. Very nice. Hear the wind blowing in the background. Oh, a little squirrel. A grey one. It was a grey one, obviously. Back to the crunchy leaves. Did you enjoy going up the tower? Oh yeah. There it is, look in the background there. It was most interesting. And did you find out what that aerial is? <laughs> There's a dragon just below it, which I filmed. Oh right. Yeah. This could have had some... Oh God! Jeez! Just walked into... <laughs> just walked into a log. Um, this could have had some sort of a urn on the top I suppose many years ago. Do you bang your leg? Oh my leg, yeah. Now I'm a bit lost. Maybe we need to go down, that way. No. Keep going down. There's a lot of old trees that have fallen, isn't there? Mm. Hope we're going the right way. We're now on the way to Lady Lucy's walk. As long as we're going downhill, we're going in the right direction. Well, let's hope we are. <laughs> and I think you'll you'll like the view when we get there. Mm. It's lovely here. I'd love to come back. I think. Yes. Maybe in the summer. I'd think. like no. I'd like to go around the house though. The college. Yes, the college. Sorry. It looks. It, you know, obviously it was a house yeah. many years ago and uh, made into a college but you can actually go and have a tour around the house. And there's only certain dates though that you can come on. And there's one on the 19th of January. It's my birthday on the 14th. So maybe Tony might treat me for my birthday to come and have a look. The Avenue is known as Lady Lucy's Walk after one of the first Earl's daughters. The story goes that she fell in love with one of the estate gardeners but because of the big difference in their social ranking was prevented from marrying him and she eventually died of a broken heart. Yes, Tony's just noticed that the trees have been planted in a certain way. There's one tree there, another one just there, and then that side is planted in the middle. And it's like that all the way down, isn't it? So when the gardener planted these for Lady Lucy... They'd have been tiny. 
tiny here. Yeah. So they must be at least a couple of hundred years old. Yeah. Wow. Take a look back. Look that way. And then you've got the college to your right again, the back of it. There's a conservatory there. I'm going to have a look at that in a minute. And I'm going to turn around again and just have another look at this Lady Lucy's Walk. Each subsequent generation of the family added their own style to the house and gardens. In the 19th century, the Vernon Wentworth family completed the house we see today with the addition of a west wing towards the gardens and also added the delicately ornate conservatory which was restored by the trust in 2013. Each generation also introduced trees and exotic shrubs to the pleasure grounds, creating the 40 acres of formal gardens that are here today. In 1949, Captain Bruce Vernon Wentworth sold the house to the Barnsley Corporation, who established it as a teacher training college. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.